we're coming back to the Corvette here. Today's February 28th, 29th, or sorry, February 28th, 2020. Hopefully you can see that. It's 4.10 p.m. We are over here at Bob Howard Chevrolet uh, Service Center. They didn't touch the bumper. They said that they got the bumper, that they readjusted the bumper to get it as close as possible. We have the same lip right here that wasn't there. Well, you can see all the gaps here that are off. You can see it's still hanging out here. This lip right here. All right, that was not there prior. You can see how none of this lines up. There's a lip here. Over here, it looks right. Okay, over here, everything is good. Well, it's sticking out here too. Look at that. It wasn't like that when I bought it, but the lip looks like it's decent up here, but then you get over here. Once you get over here, you go from nice and smooth where your finger just rides across it, and over here, your finger stops. Like there's literally a giant lip right here that wasn't there, and then it goes away up here, and then you have this piece right here that doesn't line up anymore. See what I mean? Look at these gaps. You can see through them. Like, it's, it's totally off. This piece is sticking out. They told me that they sent it to the body shop and they, they redid the bumper as close as they could get it. It's not right. That's not how it was when I bought it brand new. So this has not been returned to original condition and I don't believe they took it to a body shop this time and even attempted to adjust it at all. And look how filthy it is. That's crazy. Wow. Honestly, I'm not sure they did anything to it at all. That's crazy. Now you look at the front bumper, which they haven't touched. Look how all the gaps line up. Look how everything lines up. All the fender, like the bumper and fender, these are perfect. Perfect lines everywhere. It's only the back bumper. Rock it? No, it's probably just dirt. Oh, yeah, it's dirt. It's dirt. Yeah, yeah. I got to be careful because this thing is coated. But look at the gaps here. There's no, there's no ridge. There's no ledge. This is smooth. Gaps are perfect. Everything lines up the way it's supposed to. But on that back bumper, it's all, it's all out of sorts. So I'm gonna get into this, get some of my stuff out, and I've been advised by my lawyer to leave the car here. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys. You know what time it is. We have the Crown Vic Police Interceptor over here at your local Mako, man. I-240 Service Road out here in Southside Oklahoma City. We're going to get her all black. And uh, just wanted to do one last walk around as it is so you can get a good idea of what you're looking at here. All right, there she is. Now we're about to hand her over to them. Remember all this right here? That'll all get taken care of. And we'll see what they can do for. Again, if you need a good economical paint job, be sure to come over here to Mako off of I-240. Tell them Randy from YouTube. Auto Auction Rebuilds on YouTube sent you. Right? Oh my goodness. Wow. I couldn't. I, I didn't expect it to come out looking like that. I'm not gonna lie. I did not expect it to come out looking this damn sharp for $575. Wow. She's gorgeous. Now, we didn't go too far with this one. This one's got hail damage. And, you know, I opted to not fix it because fixing all the hail damage, it's pretty costly. It's pretty costly. This is just a cheap crown vic police interceptor build that we did and uh i decided let's just go ahead and put paint on it make it look good and i think they did a phenomenal job phenomenal job look how shiny it is yeah then now i mean again it's a 575 dollars paint job guys all right but that included a little bit of work to the rear bumper because it was damaged yes there's gonna be a little trash in it no it's not gonna be perfect but for 575 bucks out the door, how can you go wrong with this? You know what I mean? Okay, so we need to get the headlights cleaned up. The headlights are really the, 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 the only thing killing this whole paint job is the fact the headlights are dirty. We need to get the headlights shined up. And I think that's about it. 
I do. I think that's about it, man. Oh, look at that. There's the repair order. AAR Auto Sales, 09 Crown Vic. Paul, that's the dude that takes care of me over here. Comment below, man. What do you think? I think, I think this thing came out so good. That every time I pick up a car from here, I'm totally impressed. And up until uh, we do the Marauder, which by the way the marauder is actually over there sneak peek the marauder is right there that one is going in for a uh, hopefully a, a two-stage uh, uh base and clear up until now we've done these three five hundred dollar paint jobs but the marauder is getting a totally different paint job so stay tuned for the marauder video guys i'm excited to see if they can make a car like this look this good with the cheap paint jobs i can't wait to see what they're capable of with a good expensive paint job. Comment below, man, what do you think of the Crown Vic? All right, so we're about to head back. We got TK in the back of the police car. <laughs> man, they did good. They did good. It was a $300 paint job, 575 out the door because there was uh, some damage to the back bumper that they took care of. Yeah, we still got the, we still got a little bit of white. Everybody's like, did they paint the door jams? But did they paint the door jams? No, we didn't do the door jams, guys. These doors, open. you can open these from the inside now, right? No. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see if the child locks are. I think they have it disabled. I can feel uh, it. There we go. There we go. Let's see if it works now. Okay. There we go. All right. He can he can have his freedom whenever he wants it. All right. Oh. Oh, you can smell the paint. All right. So the cop car made it home fine. It's running and driving excellent, man. That car is so smooth, so comfortable, but I will say this, after having the Marauder, after having the uh, Dodge Charger, the, the get up and go is just not the same as it was when I first got it. It's not the car's fault, it's because I've been driving other things that just have so much more power. It feels like it just lacks a little bit of oomph. But aside from that, man, that car floats down the road. It really does. It's a good running driving car. It's got low miles, it's got low hours, 2,900 hours on it, uh, 62,500 miles on it. It's a great car. It's going to make somebody a wonderful car. Flowmaster 40s on the back. Uh, Optima yellow top battery. Excel coils. We have some of the service history on it. I think it's good to go. I really do. I may take it and get the headlights buffed out on it and stuff, clean that up a little bit. But I think that car is ready to go. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it up for $4,000 and we're going to see what happens. I think it can bring four grand. It's low miles, man. I think that car can pull four grand. I try to price everything fair and be reasonable with everybody. So it's 4000 or best offer, but come on guys i think that car should bring four thousand now why am i getting rid of it it's on uh <laughs> let me let me tell you this a lot of people seem to think i have unlimited funds like unlimited money i don't guys we've got this car here we've got that car there that car needs paint and a little bit of adjusting all right uh this car is going back this car we still need to get up in the air and look at the marauders in paint getting that taken care of right now that's going to be a little bit more pricey of a paint job. There's so much more stuff to get done, so much work that I have to do, and it all costs money. And while I do make a good living on YouTube, the fact of the matter is, if I were to keep all of these cars, I would I would go bankrupt. I, I'm seriously, like, I don't think you guys realize how much I tend to lose on these cars because I like making the content, so I lose money on the sale of the cars. Last year, and I don't think I've ever said this before, but last year I lost $28,000 in car sales. $28,000 in car sales, guys. That's, that's a lot of money. So if I don't sell these cars, I have to eat that loss as well as eat the money that I initially put into the cars on top of the loss. So I mean, I, I couldn't do this if I kept all the cars. Now maybe someday if the channel gets bigger, um, someday when, when we're like half a million subscribers, Hell, maybe even 300,000 subscribers. Maybe then I could afford to keep everything because that would be my dream. Honest to God, my dream would be to be able to keep all of these cars. I love each of them for their own reasons. Each of them have a story to tell and each of them have a story behind them with me. And that's special to me. It's important to me. I know it doesn't matter to most of you, to people that are going to buy it. They don't care about that, but it matters to me. And for that reason, I would prefer to hold on to these cars, but unfortunately, I just can't do that right now. We're not in a financial position to be able to keep everything we buy, or I would. I'd have two acres of land, 
It'd be full of all my cars, and I'd never be able to drive them all, and I'd end up being like Hoovy's garage. Uh, <laughs> so that's the reason we're selling cars, guys, is because I, I have to. I have to to survive. If I don't, then there won't be a channel, and there won't be any cars. So I hope you guys understand. If you enjoyed the content, hit that thumbs up button. Give the video a big thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed because we have more stuff coming, guys. I'm still looking for more cars. That's the thing. I'm looking for more cars. More cars means more content. And that's what this is all about. It's about buying cars and making videos about the process from buying to fixing to getting rid of them. So if you're interested in the Crown Victoria, you can hit me up either in the comment section or better yet, hit me up autoauctionrebuilds at gmail.com. That's rebuilds with an S, autoauctionrebuilds at gmail.com. You can hit me up and we can discuss, uh, discuss all that there. I'm going to get out of here. Until next time, stay safe out there, buddy. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.